titled Menorah HaMaor Building Campaign, A Divine Relay Race. There was a meeting last night and a vote about continuing with the plans to build the Menorah HaMaor building, the upper level, which will be the sanctuary, the proper shul, and the bottom floor, which we've been using as the shul last years, will become a social hall, base medrash, multi-purpose room, etc. And the meeting was, uh, the vote was unanimous. 41 out of 41 building members voted to go ahead and proceed with the plans to build the building and continue. And I'd love to mention so many names, but uh, I don't want to mention any names because then uh, I may end up leaving out some names. So, so many people deserve our Tatov. And I certainly want to thank everyone for all of the incredible work over the last 18 years. But there's another point I want to make as well, besides the thanks to everyone who put in so much time, effort, blood, sweat, and tears, and money. It's been an incredible, incredible run. But I'd like to mention something else. At the end of the meeting, Dickie Fish came to me and said, you know, there's something really amazing about what happened over the last 18 years. That every chapter in Moore's history, someone else just came onto the scene. Meaning when it was time for someone to oversee the finances, we had the tzaddik overdoing that, overseeing that. Someone involved in the initial, initial minyanim, we went from house to house. Someone was involved in organizing that. Came to uh, time to buy the house, the original house on the Moor stairs. There was someone who was the, involved there. Then moving to the building, we had another tzaddik involved. Wait, we have the building, but what about a proper ceiling? Another tzaddik involved there. And wait, what about the finances of the new building? So wait, well, the original person came to cold everything on his own. Another one steps in. The air, there's not enough air. Someone steps in for that. Okay, we have our basic one floor structure operating. We have air, we have the lights, we have the ceiling. But is that it? We're stopping here? Uh, the dreams of a big building end? Another tzaddik steps in over there. But what I want to stress regarding Dickie's point, because it's so true what he said, but think of an Olympic relay race where you go ahead, you have four people involved, passing the baton, first one runs a few hundred meters, a thousand meters, whatever it is. He hands the baton over to the next one. And then the next one carries it a thousand meters. And then the third one takes, and then you have the home stretch. Do you know how many years of planning went into that Olympic race, that relay race of handing over the baton? Can you imagine that they just get together and, like, okay, let's have a relay race in year one, year two, year three, and year four? There's no chance of victory of success. Here in Moor, it wasn't like, okay, here's our 18-year plan of who's going to be running the finances from the year 2001 to 2003. Who's going to be involved in organizing a house? Who's going to be involved in organizing the sale and the purchase in 2004 to 2007? Okay, now that we're here, who's going to... It was just sort of an organic process. Where once I think stepped up every time. Clearly, Hashem's Hashkacha has been, the Divine Province has been with us orchestrating this relay race, this very holy relay race. And it's just incredible to step back as we look at the last 18 years and we look ahead to the next chapter, many, many, many years ahead of learning together, of growing together, of chesed together, of inspiration together of rejoicing with each other and the other parts of life too, mourning together too, that's part of reality as well. It's an amazing opportunity now to thank of all of our holy tzaddikim, who I just cannot even name all of them, them, their wives, wives and husbands, everyone is involved in one way or another, to thank everyone for bringing us to this majestic point in our history and to thank Hashem who orchestrated this relay race that no one else could have put together. Each individual came forth, and like it seems like Hashem had this beautiful grand plan. And just like all of us in the all believe that the modern state of Israel represent, represents a very grand plan. We had the agricultural Zionists, financial Zionists, 
and then the spiritual ones, and the ones who took the Yeshua, and each one came in their own way, and Hashem just created this international relay race. We feel that's what Hashem is doing with us right now. I personally thank Hashem, of course, and I thank all of the tzaddikim, the nashim tzaddikonius, the righteous men, the righteous women who've been involved in building till we reach this beautiful point. Shechianu v'kimanu v'gemel l'asman hazeh, and me'at Hashem we may go mi'chayel l'chayel from strength to strength. Shalom.